Okay, so <clears throat> I bought this uh, uh, just a month or so ago, and uh, I did a lot of research, figured out what model I wanted, what capabilities and all. They have several of these. This one has a couple of network connections on the back, which is kind of nice. I'm not going to do anything this heavy duty, but if I was using it for for videos and, you know, um, media, I would like that. Um, and of course, HDMI, and then there's the power connector. Here's the deal though, this is the problem, and that's what this, this video is about, is um, it works fine, comes with Windows 10 Pro and all, and in the description in uh, uh, the Amazon thing, it said that it could, it could reboot after a power failure. Okay, um, they didn't lie, they just didn't fix it to say that that's not the case anymore. They changed their BIOS for some reason because physically it can't do that. Um, I th it probably saved them three dollars somewhere along the line and not enough people used it. Well, I'm going to show you a mod that I made because I need to be able to make sure this is this is turned on after power failure, either turned on by itself or I want to be able to turn it on from wherever I, I am in the planet. So you'll notice here that there's a connector here that <laughs> obviously isn't uh, uh, isn't part of it but fits really well and underneath I'm gonna unplug it here so uh, nothing nothing gets all sparky on me to, to, to open these up and by the way it will forge your warranty of course uh, you just take the, the little feet off and then there's uh, there's screws and you unscrew it and the thing pops off let me, uh, let me get it off here <clears throat> hold on a sec Okay, so yeah, take the screws off and everything and this just pops off and there's nothing to it really. It's just, there's a couple little latches that kind of hold it in place and make it difficult for people doing videos uh, to get the back off. <laughs> anyway, so what I put, what I did is I put this connector here and it fit really tight. If you, if you notice, I've got it right against the board there. So you got to watch very carefully where you put the hole and how much space you, you use because the, the bottom of it um, just barely fits. I think it even raises it up just a little bit. I could put a notch in the plastic, and, but it's not bad enough to even bother with that. So um, it, it's going to take a, a regular uh, mini plug like this, and I'm making it this so, you know, this and the shield part are uh, connected through this. I left off the, the middle one because uh, that's kind of dumb. That way you can use either a stereo plug or a, or a mono plug. And it's just wired up to those two connections on the uh, switch. Let me see if I can zoom in. The outside connections. If you look, there's the button there. Okay, and there's three connections uh, uh, vertical here. Three connections along here, and then there's the two on the outside. Those are the ones you want. That'll turn it on and off. It's just a momentary connection. So, for instance, I can and plug this in, turn it on, or flip it over, and plug my, um, let me zoom it back. I can plug this into it, and then if I touch the two wires, I can actually power this up. Okay, so that explains um, how I've taken control of this from remote to be able to turn it back on. Um, I'm using a um, an application. Let me, uh, let me go over and show you the... Um, Show you this setup here. I've got a Raspberry Pi, but I, I plan on using an Arduino because you can use either one. And there's relays on it. Um, and I'm using uh, a uh, some really super easy software that's just an image that you can burn, put on a card, slide into this, and it becomes you know it's through a certain process. You control it through um, Cyan uh, C C A Y E N N E. Uh, go to uh, uh, mydevices.com and you can read all about Cyan. It can be controlled from your phone, from the web, from, um, uh, they've got an app, the whole works. So you can control these and basically I can turn on and off these relays from a remote. 
Okay, and it's very fast acting. I mean, I'll be able to click it on, click it off, and that will start up the um, start up the PC uh, on the other bench there. And you can do some other things. I've got something set up that needed a double pull, double throw uh, switch, so I have two relays wired together to do that. So, and I shorted these out, um, shorted the inputs out for these two relays that so it controls both of them at the same time. So you can do a lot of different things with relays um, to get what you want. Anyway, with, with uh, some things, like what we just did there, uh, you need to push it on to turn it on and push it again to turn it off. Well, um, through Cyan, I have it set up. Uh, I've got a couple of other things hooked onto these where it's a momentary thing. You, you push to turn it on and then you let up and it's supposed to not stay on. If you hold the button down for a long time, it confuses it, um, sometimes even turns it back off again. So you need this relay to be a temporary or a momentary relay where it keys and then within uh, 30 to 45 seconds it needs to unkey. So if you go to Cyan, you'll find that you can say, yes, I want to control this relay on this device, because you can have multiple devices, this relay on this device, and when I push the button, I want to turn it on, and that's cool. Then you can say, and I want a trigger, which is, which is something completely different. Um, on Cyan, where you take the trigger and you say, if this relay is on, turn it off. And that's it. So basically you've got it, so you have a button that turns this on, then you have a trigger that's constantly going through your stuff to see you know, what's changed. It says, oh my God, that relay is on. My trigger says to turn it off. So basically by turning it on, you're starting a process and then it'll turn around to turn itself off again anyway. So there's your momentary switch, okay? Um, you don't have to touch it once to turn it on, touch it again to turn it off. You just touch it and if you sit and watch it, it'll turn itself back off again anyway. So, so that's pretty cool um, and that's pretty easy to do. So with Cyan, with my phone or on the web, I can turn on that PC by having that cable hooked to one of these relays and that's it I've just gotten around their BIOS see you can't do that thing all right um, so check out uh, mydevices.com and um, uh, everything's very very simplistic and very easy to configure uh, you shouldn't have any problem at all all right have fun if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll uh, I'll answer them if I can <laughs>